Senbazuru, Small Steps to Hope, Healing and Happiness by Michael James Wong. Mindfulness is the art of living in the moment, the willingness to slow down and become completely present, on purpose, without judgment, as each moment unfolds. Folding paper is a beautiful practice of mindfulness, if you allow it to be. This is the gift of Senbazuru. In Japan, the paper crane is a symbol of peace, hope, and healing. Considered the bird of happiness, this mystical and majestic creature is believed to live for a thousand years. And according to tradition, if a person were to fold 1,000 paper cranes in a single year, they would be granted a single wish, one that could bring good fortune, eternal luck, long life, and happiness. The undertaking of folding 1,000 cranes is no small task. Courage, dedication, and purpose is required. Every fold is deliberate and considerate, each crane inspired and resilient. It is a journey of hope, commitment, and exploration, forgiveness, and in the end, joy. Through folding 1,000 paper cranes, it is believed that we discover our own path to heal the soul and find true happiness. Hope, the possibility of change. Hope is a powerful thing, a belief that change is possible and that we are all deserving of it. It is also the first step on our path to healing the soul and discovering what truly makes us happy. Above all else, hope is the belief that things will get better, even if it may seem unlikely. With a hopeful spirit, you may find that your path unfolds differently from this moment forward. Within this chapter are the first four steps along your path. Gentleness, inspiration, courage and intention. These are the qualities of a hopeful spirit. Gentleness, prioritizing kindness. I have chosen to begin by speaking of gentleness. My mother always says, there is nothing more powerful than a gentle breeze, for it reminds us that small moments can heal the soul. I have found that the choice to begin gently when starting something new is often disregarded, not because it lacks appreciation, but because gentleness requires significant effort in an unrelenting world. To live gently means prioritizing kindness and compassionate behavior over singular acts of accomplishment. Life has a way of moving us along, nurturing our tenacity and encouraging us to move faster. And so, as we begin this journey together, choose to go slowly and take your time. Know that it is far too early to know where this will end. Do not let your expectations steal this new beginning. It is far too precious for you not to be here, now, completely. Courage, willingness to try. In life, we may often think ourselves inadequate or not ready, and we can persuade ourselves to believe that we are incapable of progress because the tasks ahead are too big or have come too soon. But a brave act is not measured in distance, but rather in intention, and courage is simply having the willingness to try. When people think of courage, it is easy to say, I'm not brave, so I cannot be a courageous person. Often in life we see brave heroes who, in the face of danger, fight fearlessly to save the world from harm or heartbreak. And we've become accustomed to these triumphs being the benchmark of how courage is defined. But there are also many courageous acts that may be far less grandiose in their execution, but may be equally as profound in their meaning. Many of our greatest acts of bravery are often done in small and quiet steps. Courage is the willingness to step into the unknown, a practice of our vulnerabilities in action. Inspiration, a spark of possibility. As humans, we are naturally creative beings, always curious about the wonderments of life, exploring the line between what is real and what is possible. But often we can feel uninspired and unimaginative in a world that demands efficiency over creativity. If we are moving too fast, or are stressed by the speed of life, then inspiration may be fleeting. When times are tough, or our attentions distracted, inspiration retreats. 
In cultivating hope, we must unburden ourselves of the past and see only the possibilities that lie ahead. Slow down, an inspiration will spark. Be ready to receive it, because once captured, the world will ignite and anything is possible. Intention, commitment to hope. It is important in life that hope is enduring. We cannot be hopeful only for a fleeting moment, believing that this is enough to encourage us on our onward path. And so, we must cultivate a strong resolve that guides our actions and inspires our perspective. And this is the practice of meaningful intentions. When setting intentions, we must be clear and dedicate our attention to these inward commitments, for it is in our hearts where our most meaningful actions start. A strong intention is the gift to explore, knowing that our path is lit with a hopeful spirit, which will guide us wherever we choose to wander. Healing, returning to the present. At times in life, we must all heal, whether it is a broken bone or a broken heart. It is the choice to return to the present and to let go of the suffering that keeps us attached to what is behind us. But no, if you have ever experienced suffering or hardship but have not given up, then you are on a healing path. In time, all wounds will recover. So take your time, be patient and focus on new habits and perspectives to help you find your way back to this moment completely. In this section of the book, we speak of four themes on the path to healing, forgiveness, patience, resilience, and support. Each one is important on our onward way. Holding on is a commitment to hope, but letting go is a choice for new beginnings. Both are meaningful on the path to healing. Forgiveness, releasing attachment. Forgiveness is an ongoing practice. If we have been ill-treated by someone close to us, a partner or a friend, the suffering we feel can stay with us for a long time. Perhaps we could even believe that an apology is owed to us. But what if both people think they are right? No middle ground will be found, nothing will happen, and the suffering will continue. A lack of forgiveness is a negative cycle of fault and frustration. If it is our trust that has been broken, we become a person who is untrusting. If someone has stolen from us, we become doubtful of people's genuine nature. Without forgiveness, we are unable to experience life without the negative influence from our past. Without forgiveness, we can never truly be present. But once we forgive, attachments subside. Patience, embracing uncertainty. I do not think anyone is so saintly that they have not felt the scorn of impatience once before. It is a bite that comes in haste, often unplanned, rearing its head in a moment of frustration and ego. And so we must ask ourselves, why is it that we lose our patience? Or maybe, why can we not keep it in times of anger or unrest? When we speak of patience, we often do not speak of the experience of having it, but in fact of what it feels like to lose it. But this itself can be a wonderful realization, because how can we lose something if it is not already within us. Patience is the practice of embracing uncertainty and holding, above all else, our peace as a sacred endeavor. And so, patience is the practice to prolong the moments where we are calm and at ease and cultivate a trusting nature in the wisdom that naturally resides within. Time is our greatest commodity and patience is our commitment to walk slowly in its footsteps. Resilience, remembering why. It is an inevitability of life to get knocked down. And when this happens, we can believe that this is our end and that we have been defeated. But this is not true. For we can only be beaten if we do not rise. And this is a choice only you alone can make. Resilience is the practice of remembering why we started in the first place and keeping this in our hearts through challenges and obstacles that cross our path. Be kind to yourself. Do not distract yourself with miseries or misfortunes. Healing takes time and needs to be unrushed. Unburden yourself of expectations and simply allow yourself the space to find your strength. Wander back to your path and keep moving forward. Nothing can defeat you without your permission. Remember why 
and continue to rise. Support, love in action. I am often asked for guidance in times when someone has lost their way or has reached a point where they feel helpless and undone. And on these occasions, I do my best to share kind words and offer support where I can, knowing that everyone often simply needs love and kindness. For the most part, I will ask them to be gentler and let them speak about their troubles, as I have learned that most people just want to be heard and know that someone else cares for their well-being. To give support is a sign of love, and to receive it is a sign of connection. Sometimes asking for help can feel like we are giving up, but this is not true. Asking for help is deciding that we are not yet willing to do so. Do not allow this to be misunderstood, and do not push away support. Allow others to help you, as you would likely help them. Life is not a path to be walked alone, and we must cultivate strong relationships that make us feel safe and give us a sense of belonging. To be in such a relationship with someone else or a community of people is to understand that together we can do far more than we can alone. Support is the practice of love in action, to give it, receive it, and be it for ourselves and for others. Like cranes that fly together in a flock, so too should humans when traveling through life. Happiness, celebrating this moment. Happiness just is. It is not a thing to find or a destination to arrive at. It is in fact simply the awareness to live in the moment completely and the freedom to choose wisely with your time. Happiness is not something to hold in your hand. It has no texture to touch, for it resides in the heart and is felt within the soul. In the final part of this book, we explore the qualities of happiness, gratitude, growth, simplicity, and joy, each a meaningful step towards a beautiful way of living. Gratitude, love without opinion. In life, we are given the gift of perspective, and with this vision, we must choose to see the world with appreciation and kindness. Be unconditional with your love and cultivate meaningful connections. Give your time to the things that matter and learn from the things that have created resistance in the past. For there is nothing in this world that is undeserving of your gratitude. This is the gift of a kind mind and a loving heart. Growth, the insights of change. The world is forever changing. Very little remains constant. And so we must continually learn to adapt to the waves of transformation. If change is abrasive and disregards the direction of our journey, this can be difficult to accept, especially if we are challenged by the scale or immediacy that it demands. Though we cannot control the rhythms of change, we can always choose how we respond. The beauty of a changing world is that it is inevitable, but as each moment unfolds, we must choose to expand and grow. Simplicity, removing distractions, Humans have a way of gravitating towards complexity, always striving for more, never fulfilled, always needing. We have become masterful at coping with the quantity of life and feel that if we are not doing more, we are living less. But this is not the way. A fulfilled life is defined by quality, not quantity. We must reduce the temptations of a busy world and move away from the expectations of the ego. Simplicity is an evolution we find in time. It is the practice of removing unneeded distractions and recognizing the gift of less. Joy, gracious refinement. As we arrive here at the final step, I hope that this book has served you well. In my life, I have learned that joy is a practice of continuous discovery and gracious refinement, and that our lives are simply a gift of self-awareness each moment unfolding with new inspirations and inward connection. Happiness just is, a warmth that radiates within but illuminates outwards, and one that we can only truly find when we walk our own path with small and many steps. When we remove all the distractions of life, all that remains is joy.